Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlifegamer for the new Boston and in this tutorial we're going to continue working on our game. Now if you remember from the previous tutorial we added the health monitor at the bottom um, so that the user can see the current health of their enemy and Popeye um, so that they don't just have to rely on the progress bar. They can see a little bit more precise amount. But if you remember if the health gets down to zero, which would technically mean that Popeye is dead, it will not um, say that he's dead because Popeye, I mean, the value of a progress bar can be set to zero without an error occurring. So what we can do is whenever the enemy attacks, it's going to try to update the Popeye health. So we'll come down here to update Popeye health and it's going to set the value to the hero.health and so what we're going to do is we will type if hero.health equals zero then what do we want to do? We want to throw a new exception. So if it's equal to zero we're just going to throw our own exception because this will not actually um, create an exception itself. So we're going to throw our own and this try statement is going to catch that exception and it's going to set the value to zero and say that Popeye is lost. So that Popeye cannot still be alive with zero health. Now you can see here that whenever we set the hero health uh, to 100, it, we're actually using a number here. So if we ever wanted to go through and change the starting health of the hero, we'd have to go and find every single instance of 100 um, and change it um, manually. So what we can do is go into Popeye and now these things that um, I'm showing you guys uh, they may seem like I'm jumping around in the program but what you gotta learn is that you gotta think through things that you can make your code better uh, or make it easier for the user to use your program you just gotta think about those things and be able to find them and hopefully you guys are learning how to do this as we go through these tutorials so we'll come over here and we, we will create a variable so we'll make it public and shared because it's going to be the same for all uh, Popeyes and we don't want to waste memory by creating multiple instances of it and we'll just call it start health as integer and we'll set it equal to uh, let's just give Popeye 250 health because heroes always have more health than their enemies and then the int health when the object um, when Popeye is created we'll just set int health equal to start health okay so now we have our start health that we created so we'll come back into form 1.vb and we want to set hero.health to hero.start health so it's going to set it back to the default um, starting health see here ah uh, yes and because we're using a shared variable what we're gonna need to do is type Popeye dot start health because it's shared and it's the same through all Popeye objects we're just gonna use Popeye here instead of our single object so come down here to update Popeye health uh, let's just make sure everything's okay so now what we can do is we can do that for the enemy now because all of these other classes inherit from enemy, we only need to make it once. So we'll come down here and we'll say public and I gotta zoom in some. So public shared and we will do uh, start health as integer and we'll give our enemies 100 health and then whenever the constructor is created for our enemy we can just set the int health equal to start health so this uses indirection so that we can we only need to change uh, one value um, to change a whole bunch of values in our program so let me just fix this here it's not what I wanted <laughs> we'll put it up here in the top Okay, so we'll come back to form1.vb and whenever we update the enemy health, 
Let's just make sure everything's okay. Okay, so under button attack, what we want to do is um, we've got our spinach. Uh, so progress bar enemy dot value is going to be equal to zero. Okay, so we need to go to generate enemy. So whenever we generate the enemy, what we want to do is set the progress bar. So we've got progress bar enemy dot value equals current enemy dot health. So we can just set that to default health or start health. And because we're using a shared variable, we need to make this enemy dot start health. Let's see here. Uh -huh. We need to import the enemies library so that we can use that. So now that we've imported uh, the enemies library, we do not need this right here. So we can just go ahead and remove that. So we've got enemy.starHealth and we'll do that for each one of these. So we'll just type enemy dot start health and then enemy dot start health okay so let's see here uh, everything seems to be working fine so let's go ahead and run this and we can attack Okay, sorry about right, sorry about that right there. Um, I actually had an error, uh, which was a simple fix. You just need to come over here to your form one, select the progress bar under Popeye, and you need to set the maximum to 250, which is the maximum health that Popeye can have. So we'll go ahead and run this. We can attack, and you can see Popeye gets attacked back. We can use spinach and everything works the way you would think and if Popeye's health gets to zero then it will say that he's dead because it throws a new exception let's go ahead put this code in if you already haven't um, you can change stuff around if you want make it look uh, a little better add stuff and then once you've done that go ahead and move on to the next tutorial